Ok, this is to document my attempt of printing, 3D print some part through ARM devices. Uh, this is a Samsung Series 3 Chromebook. It has a dual core Cortex A15 processor. It's running Ubuntu, that's Ubuntu for Chromebook 13.04 and it is connected to my 3D printer. There, I will show it uh, shortly. And I am looking into the this isolation chamber, this cardboard box I built for my 3D print printer uh, through the webcam uh, that's plugged on into this Aldroid XU. That's, that uh, sports an octa-core processor from Samsung. Um, this is my 3D printer. I'll light it up. As you can see, I built a cardboard box uh, isolation chamber for it. It is a kind of Grabber i3 wrap wrap printer. It's actually a rebranded uh, Brazilian printer using the basic design of a Grabber i3 and a Gen, set, Gen 7 derived board. And it, it is very good to my purpose and I have been very satisfied with it. Uh, I have a, a slight watermark from a previous 3D print uh, from the same part of my printer, as you can see. And uh, it is ready to start the print. It has this blue filament. Yes, it has it extruded a little. As it, it, it makes the skirt, I think it will not be a problem. And we will start the print. Let's do it. The temperatures are already set for that. I wouldn't uh, make it on the start. So let's... Um, Let's start. Let's see that on the Android XU screen. Uh, by the way, I'm using counter face as the GUI for doing this 3D print. Uh, I have to do a, to make a slight modification to the source code because it has a bug related to timeout on G Gen 7 boards. So it seems that uh, all is going well. Let's check on our 3D printer, on our isolation chamber. So. We have uh, various droplets. Uh, this is normal. Uh, the first layer, I usually get very tight, so it uh, it is normal for it to get that, those blobs, but they get corrected with time. I'll try to do some smoother calibration of my printer later. Uh, but. It works very well for getting the print uh, glued to the to the base. Otherwise, it would deform a lot. Not that it is a problem in such a, a short part. Uh, it's not very tall, so it would not uh, be much deformed. Okay, and you get back when the print is done. Okay, we're almost there. There is only one minute and 20 seconds uh, for the print to finish. We continue printing, it seems okay. And I realized that first layer, it was uh, done incorrectly because I used some settings that were meant for another print but uh, it's just the first layer and the print seems to be going well it's a simple part i'll be using for another test and i have a 
the, the same years uh, printed from my desk, desktop computer so you have a good comparison to see if, the, if it's the same and an, an, an advice uh, some ARM device that run on SD card they might lock up, they might hang for a few seconds or for a few minutes depending on the task um, so it's not a good choice if you for example start a, a software for controlling the printer temperature and uh, start some update okay the print finished uh, but as i was saying uh, that was because this uh, the for the temperature to remain stable it uh, turns on and off the the heater and at some time the hang up might be just after it turns on the heater so you, it, it can keep the heater heating constantly and it can just burn the filament it's not good so we'll see here we we'll have we we'll have the temperature here. I will just uh, turn off so that we have the temperature lower. Uh, I I get to get the temperature lowered because if I try to remove the print just after it finished, it uh, usually warps a little, and I don't want that. So I wait uh, for some time uh, so that the print bed is a little colder and I will get the, the part off. So we will get back in a few. Okay, uh, here is the part. I've taken it off the print bed now. Uh, you have these uh, things on the bottom of the part that is the, uh, it is PVC glue that happens because it, I put it, put it to, uh, so that it will adhere to the surface. It just needs some uh, some cuttings now and some sanding. Uh, this is the same part that I did uh, for uh, from the, my desktop PC and the arm. Pretty much, the, pretty much the same so I'd consider it a success uh, from printing from ARM devices there's no reason that we could not use it unless of course you, you get some uh, need for rap, uh, rapid response because I've already said that issue with the uh, disk access, actually SD access, and some operations that might uh, be time dependent. But other than that, if you take some care, there will be no problem with it. Um, just do not update <laughs> your system, uh, do not have to get it when you are printing or when you are regulating the temperature. And that's it. That's my first uh, film attempt of printing from ARM devices. And thank, thank you very much. Bye-bye.